Hey team, my name is Maxwell Hurst and I'm the Chief Operating Officer and a co-founder here at Eats to Seeds. And this is the Castle Coliseum training video. In this video, we're gonna teach you anything and everything you need to know to get ready for your first shift with us here at Castle Coliseum. First, I wanna go over some general Eats to Seeds policies that you need to be aware of before your first shift. Number one, dress code. Eats to Seeds standard dress code is all black with a black hat and black non-slip shoes being preferred. Next, I wanna review our tardiness and our call-out policies. You're allowed up to four unexcused tardies and two unexcused call-outs from work before you will be terminated. You're gonna receive a written warning via email after each subsequent infraction, and you'll also have the chance to appeal any written warning by shooting an email to support at eatsaseeds.com. Next, let's review what you need to have done before coming on site. Number one, you need to complete all of your onboarding paperwork at staff.eatsaseeds.com. Number two, you need to download the Eats to Seat staff app on your phone and start registering for events through the app because that's the only way we're gonna know that you wanna come work on site. Number three, make sure you finished all of the staff trainings for the venues that you selected during onboarding. Number four, Make sure that you're in our main E2S times VT announcement group meet because we're gonna send a lot of important information in there that you need to know. Number five, make sure that you've completed your mandatory background check through our staff app. And number six, make sure that you've already completed your team alcohol training so that you can serve beer with us at Lane Stadium or Castle Coliseum. Now going off that, Let's review the general alcohol laws that you have to follow while serving beer at Lane Stadium or Castle Coliseum. Alcohol law number one, we can only serve two beers per customer at most. Alcohol law number two, we have to ID every customer that comes through the line. Alcohol law number three, we have to open every beer we serve, keep the caps and throw them away. And alcohol law number four, never serve to a customer that you deem a risk or that already seems intoxicated. Your Eats and Seats management team has your back if you wanna say no. Next, let's review our operation here at Castle Coliseum as a whole. For most nights, we're only gonna have stand seven available, which is a barbecue and hot dog stand located to the right of check-in. And depending on the night, we may also be staffing a beer portable or another concession stand in Castle. When you get into check-in, if you look at the first stand on your left, that's gonna be stand one, and the next stand to its right is stand two, looking at the court. And you can find any stand we staff by using that system to navigate Castle Coliseum. Next, let's go over some actual game day logistics and show you what an actual shift's gonna look like. Parking is available at Lot 3 by Lane Stadium. Check-in is at the west entrance off of Beamer Street. Check-in with your Eats to Seed site lead using your Eats to Seed staff app on your phone, locating the QR code in your staff passport and showing it to the site lead at check-in. The first stand on your left when you enter is stand one, the first stand on your right at check-in is stand two, and the stand numbers go up in Castle as you move right from check-in. To get to stand seven, go right from check-in. Once you get to your stand, you'll be given a role by your stand lead as either a cashier or support staff for the shift. You could be cashiering, opening beers, making barbecue, prepping mac and cheese, prepping hot dogs, or much more. Cashiers, know that you always need to upsell. You should never let someone leave the line only ordering one beer or one food item. Be personable and make every customer interaction count. At the stand, we'll be cooking pretzels, which you need to do for three to four minutes on 400 degrees to cook properly. Be sure to utilize table space in the stand to prep any food items like barbecue sandwiches or sides of mac and cheese. Unopened trays of barbecue and mac and cheese and hot dogs will be kept in this warmer here. Pretzel production is very important in this stand, so be sure to keep our pretzel warmer full the whole shift. Sodas can be made in the back corner where the syrup and soda machine are kept as well. Next, let's cover some stand operations. Cashiers, remember, always upsell. You should never let someone leave the line only ordering one beer or one barbecue sandwich. Be personable, ask the customers questions about the event, and make every customer interaction count. This will marginally increase the amount of sales and tips coming into the stand over the course of the shift. Also, always be sure to display one of each product item on our counter so that our customers know what's available to buy. Next, let's unpack the cashier-runner relationship. Runners, you should make it to where cashiers never have to move to grab the product. Set up speed lines for cashiers, make sure we're staying on top of food production, and always be in a position to facilitate transactions. Sales will start two hours before kickoff and end at the end of the game. While we will remain open for the whole game, we will stop serving alcohol after the third quarter of the women's games and after halftime of men's games. Once sales end, cleanup is directed by your stand lead. Once you're dismissed by your stand lead, check out with your site lead using your QR code on your staff app and you'll be good to go. Next, I want to review some tips for you to maximize sales and tips coming through your 
understand throughout the course of the show. As a general rule of thumb, be personable with your customer. They're coming through your line expecting a great time and great service, and if you give it to them, they will reward you with the tip. Also, we must always upsell. You should never let a customer leave the stand with only one product item. If they order a hot dog, ask them if they want a beer. If they order one beer, ask them if they want two. Moral of the story is, if you're a cashier in the stand, you have to take responsibility for the tips coming into the stand. And also, if you're a runner, it needs to be your goal for the cashier to move the least amount as possible so that we can maximize the amount of transactions over the course of the shift. In conclusion, we hope that this video has prepared you for your first shift with us here at Castle Coliseum. And if you have any further questions, be sure to reach out to your regional operations director, your site lead, or support at eatsandseats.com so we can help you out. Thank you and go Hokies.